The Lego Icons Bouquet of Roses might just be the best floral set within the botanical collection line. Keep watching to find out why. Before we get into the review, if you like these kinds of videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. It means a lot to the channel and allows me to keep making these types of reviews. So with that, let's get into it. The first stage of this build has you building four of these little infant roses. And you can see that these ones are not fully blossomed as much as some of the other ones within the whole bouquet. It's not ready to blossom yet. It still hasn't hit its uh, full peak yet. But what I really like about this flower is that it was small and compact and relatively easy to build. Uh, we have these little like shell pieces that kind of hinge on the bottom there. Um, and everything is hidden away underneath these two pieces here. Um, it is built kind of backwards. Uh, you can see all of the studs face the downward side. Uh, it is attached in the center via system bricks. Um, and it has another of a couple one by two hinges there that are kind of the inverse of that green piece there. And they all attach one by one uh, in there like that. And then on this, these are just some modified plates here. And then they all come together via like snot bricks here. Put this other piece back on, attach it to the top here. So it goes like this. And then that, like I said, just folds in over on top of itself. And then you attach these little uh, wedge pieces to a one by one modified plate. And then you build the stem. Um, and that's kind of how each one of them goes is you build the little bulb and then do the accessory to it and then the stem and you do this four times and then you move on to stage two so this flower here is the one that we build in stage two so let's take a look at that one I think this step was probably my favorite out of all of them I think the coolest part of this whole set is this little subsection right here just this the way that they these wheel well type pieces come together into the center and it's super satisfying. So you start by building uh, a little rod with these little pink one by one uh, rounded uh, Technic pin type things. There's a green one and two pink ones, and then you build it upside down into this system, like two by two rounded tile and brick, and you attach it at the top there like that. Um, and then once you uh, finish that, you have a little wheel here, and you attach you attach these wheel wells with some wedge plates with some modified one by one plates and then you slowly just piece them together like so you fold them in on each other and then this one comes together like so you kind of have to wiggle it in there but then that is my favorite part of the whole build that little step right there and then you fold up the rest of the rows around it so this is supposed to be like the medium growth rows uh, it folds together like so, and once you're done, you have uh, these little, you have to attach the petals to this one. This guy has petals. I believe this is the only one within this that has petals. The other ones do not. The other ones do have thorns, and little fun fact here, uh, this little one-by-one one tile is connected to this little horn piece, um, and it is used as a thorn for your rose. And it is the first time ever that they have made this part in the dark red. So that's pretty cool. It's a brand new exclusive piece to the set. I'm sure we'll probably see it in the future. So like I said, this one is probably my favorite build throughout the whole thing. My favorite flower is coming up next. And here we have the stage three flower as well as some of the baby spreads. So we're going to take that out. We're going to take a look at these two together. First, starting with the baby's breath. This is a pretty simple build. Uh, they're just a bunch of like long pins connected together. These aren't exactly the lightsabers, but they're pretty close. And then there's a long one and then a short little connector there. And then you build four of them and that's your stem. As for the actual baby's breath, these are just little like bush elements. I don't even know if we'd call them that. They're like floral elements. And then you connect them to two little of the small like leaf tree branch type elements. And then once you connect it all, it becomes your stem for your baby's breath. So that one's pretty simple. Uh, the white pieces are a little bit tedious, especially when you have four 
flowers, but it looks cool with the rest of the flowers. So I feel like it's a little added extra piece or extra flair to this set. So I appreciate it nonetheless. Moving on to the last set of flowers. Like I said, this one, the build is pretty cool, but at the same time, I think just in general, the actual rose, the actual rose looks the best on this stage. This is supposed to be the full blossomed rose, the one that has had enough time to continue growing and is at its full peak. So this is the type of rose that you would buy someone on Valentine's Day. I would presume you would get 12 of them and the person who you're giving them to would love them very much. However, unlike this Lego flower, those would probably die within the first six days. So this is why I would prefer these over real real roses. So this one's a little bit different. It has a little petal here that is upside down um, compared to the rest of them, right? So this one plugs in from the bottom, whereas the rest of them go from the bottom down. Um, and then it has a pin there with some, um, I don't even know what you call this piece, but it's some sand green piece with uh, some a two by two brick on top of it. And it come off, I'm breaking everything. But I guess we'll give you a better look in, in, at the inside without taking it all apart. So you build that little green, sand green piece, and then that two by two brick goes on top, and then you put that little pink uh cone style i guess into a one by one modified plate with a whip on top and you put that whip in bright red so it's a little bit cool about that and then after you're done with that you build these little pieces here uh you build four of those times four so 16 and you attach it this black piece is supposed to be part of that sub build and then you attach that down onto the sand green there um, and then once you're done with that you take these, um, I don't even know what piece you call these, they're like floral body elements, I guess, and you attach it to the side there of the wheel well slash, I guess, assembly for these guys, and they go right there on that dark, dark red, and once you attach that in place, you get your full rows, and this one also has the thorn on it, similarly to the last one. And uh, yeah, this is the best rose within this set, but this little intersection is not as satisfying of a build as the second stage. So let's put it all together and uh, take another look one more time at the bouquet of roses. So here's what they look like when all 12 have come together. I think one of the biggest knocks on this build is how repetitive it is, but I think what this set has going for it is that this set is made for more than one person. This is a type of set that you get as a gift and you build with friends or you build with your significant other, or frankly, you could build it yourself. It just does get a bit repetitive. Like I said, that is the knock against this. So if you are comparing botanical sets against each other, this one definitely is more repetitive than the rest. And it's not as colorful as the rest. But in my opinion, if you're comparing flowers to the botanical sets, this one might be the most accurate to the actual flower. I think these do an amazing job of showing off what a rose actually looks like. And if you're comparing this to the Lego Creator roses, the like two, two rows $15 set that came out a couple years ago, these are light years better than those. Um, they've updated the design and, and, and the build is so much better. And the colors are so much more vibrant they use the sand green and then the dark green and make it all come together very nice. And for the price, if you're going to buy two, um, two of those roses for $15 and the build is not as nice, you can get 12 here and baby's breath for, for 60 So I think that's a pretty good deal. Like I was saying, this one might be my favorite botanical set just because it does such a great job of being accurate to the flower. And if you were giving these as a gift and the person that you gave them to is displaying them, they're, they might catch a lot of people off guard that they're not real flowers, they're Lego, and they're actually going to last a long time, and the person doesn't have to water them. They don't have to worry about them dying in a week or two weeks. These will never die. You can reuse them year in, year out, and you'll be able to savor the look of these flowers for as long as you own them.
So that is my review of the Lego Icons Bouquet of Roses from the Botanical Collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. It really helps out the channel and it allows me to make more videos like this and do reviews that help people see what kind of sets they're getting before they purchase them. So thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in another video.